The route for all this year's World Championship road races is a hilly 18.2 kilometre circuit, ridden four times by the junior women and 14 by the elite men. It would have suited a resilient, fast finisher like three times world champion Oscar Freire down to the ground. Yeah, when I saw the, the circuit, when I saw the percours, I, I said, oh, uh, it's, it's the, the best circuit for, for me. But also, it's the best circuit if you have a really good team to control the race. But it's really difficult to control the, the race, I think, in my opinion. The first obstacle is the shallow climb, six kilometres long, out of Pomferrada and up to Confederación. Immediately when you exit the city, you, you start the climb. It's not a steep, but when you have a four or five percent during 260 kilometres, it becomes uh, really hard. The descent from Confederación is winding, steep and cambered. It leads across the dam to the start of a second, much harder climb up to the Mirador with two 10% uphill sections. The important moment, the most important moment is just uh, 300 metres to the top. Because if somebody wants to make the difference, it's the, it's the place to, to make it. Because after, after that, if you have 10 seconds or 5 seconds, you can, you can arrive to the, to the finish. The descent from the Mirador is lightning fast and the crux is a tricky right-hand corner two kilometres from the finish line. With probably the steepest gradient of the course, it could be a nightmare in the rain. The final is uh, really difficult if it's raining. After the climb, uh, uh, for sure, somebody takes a lot of risk and you have to follow the, the front riders. Then the run back into town. You don't have uh, time to recover. The last two kilometers, they, they will be in line. It's important to have somebody uh, to pull the spring, but it's also difficult because uh, not so many riders, they arrive to the, to the last uh, 300 meters. I think it's difficult to, to have a group in, in, the, in that, uh, in that part of the, the race. Salud.